Hello, my name is Kofi Bobby Hick, and I'm the nephew of Gordon Parks, you know, the photographer, filmmaker, writer, and activist. And we're the students at Gordon Parks High School, named after his uncle. A year ago, we came up with a futuristic idea and have made this film to tell you about it. This idea is now taking on a life of its own. We believe it provides a way for students to connect with community via hands-on art, social justice, and authentic roundtable conversations. At this place that we want to occur, this is right across the street. Arnella's is and has been a historic St. Paul established for music and community since the early 90s. And I've known Arnella for almost all of that time. And like my Uncle Gordon, she's gone through a lot and she's still standing. Arnella came here as a person that was working for people. At some point she became an entrepreneur where she hired people, took care of people, made sure they had a way out of whatever it is they were going through. You know, and Arnella, you go in there and talk to her and say hello and feel, feel like you just stop by you know, your, your sister's house. A lot of people have come here. This is a very important place for uh, the uh, community. If you come to Arnella Hungry, she's going to feed you. <laughs> she's going to give you bus fare. This just happened the other day. This guy came in and went to the cash machine and he couldn't get any money. And he said something to somebody, and this was the day it was so cold outside, it was very cold. Arnella didn't even know this person. Automatically, Arnella jumped out of her seat and followed him outside. He said, um, I couldn't get any money out of the cash machine and all I needed was $2 to catch the bus. Arnella came back in, got the $2 and gave it to him. She, she worked hard all her life. And like I said, if somebody needs help, anything, she, she does, she does it for me. Cause sometimes, you know, like people come in here, they want this, they want that, she give it to them. And I be saying no. <laughs> Never really complains, haven't had the best of opportunities because she's had a hard way to go because of her location. And some of the people that showed up in the earlier days it wasn't all they were supposed to be. Uh, didn't know how to act. Didn't have the correct kind of manners or mannerisms. They look down on things that they don't know and they don't frequent. Uh, and since they don't know and don't frequent and don't have first-hand knowledge about what's going on there, then they tend to invent things or things that they've heard. Which can create problems. Which can create problems. There are people who can tell you all about what goes on our, in our Nellas and have never set foot in there. And we know what type of uh, uh, scrutiny that the city puts our Nellas under. Uh, um, when we, we've had meetings with the cities regarding police calls or, or if, uh, incidents that are happening to our Nellas, which these incidents, they happen at just by every club or it can happen anywhere. When we needed her, she was there for us. When she needed us, we were there for her. It's that old uh, Rondo religion. Take care of your brothers, take care of your sisters. And I know it as a sister to this community. We need to support her for the sake of supporting ourselves. But we don't want to lose her, we need her. Gordon Parks is more than a high school. Gordon Parks is a safe haven, a hot meal, a shoulder to lean on, and a helping hand. With the support of the community, the youth can play a big role in social change. So if Gordon Parks High School collaborated with Arnellas, it would connect the generations via art, activism, and academics. And many of the students at Gordon Parks High School are children of Arnellas patrons. It's kind of like we're family. We're now catering to some of the people that when we first started off, we're catering to their kids and some of their kids. So what exactly would this collaboration look like? Schools don't typically form partnerships like this. But remember, this is Gordon Parks High School. People come here for all kinds of events. Sometimes they come in with open mics. Sometimes people have poetry. There are a lot of students who go here who have musical talent 
and want to like pursue that probably as a career in like theater. And her club is like known for having a lot of musical people come and they have like a full stage and a full set and everything. So that would be good for people to like get the feel of having like being on like a real stage and actually performing. We needed music. Arnella would bring music in and pay for the band. It's like a community place where people go and like have fun. It's not really like where people just stay drunk all day. It's like a community place like where people just go and sing and stuff and have fun. Her goal in business basically was to provide uh, entertainment uh, mm -hmm. club for the Twin Cities area. What she's done, I mean, like Melissa was just talking about, she's provided a lot of uh, groups opportunities to come down there and, and perform. Um, she's, you know, helped some out along the way, helped musicians get started. The students, staff, and I believe this is a rare opportunity and we've already built up support. And have numerous examples of successful collaboration to point to. Ella is what we call a community treasure. She's an asset. You look at your community and you find out an asset is something that you can use when you're trying to accomplish something. We could call on Arnella for support in, in our endeavors. When we did Rhonda, we always wanted to take the message to the community. And one of the places that people gather where they congregate would be in a bar or a restaurant like Arnella's. She would allow us to use her stage in order to make announcements about Rhonda. Now all of this having been said, we're asking for you, the community, to step up and validate this idea.